Hey guys, welcome back to Genshin Interact. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new 4-star event weapon called Dialogues of the Desert Sages. Now, this weapon you can get from the ongoing alchemy event that's going on in Mondstadt right now. And with that, you can also get it free refinements up to R5. So this is very good for free-to-play players especially. So you can obviously get the max uh, potential out of the ability on this. So we're going to just kind of briefly talk about this weapon and just kind of discuss our thoughts on it and what characters this can be used on. So Vixen, getting right into things, what is this weapon and how can it work? Well, looking at the weapon stats, at least at to level 80 right now, its base attack is at 475 and its HP percent main stat, which is really nice for some healers, and we'll talk about that in a second actually, but its main stat at level 80 or HP percent goes to 37.7%, and then when you go to level 90, it goes to 510 base attack with 41.3% HP. Now, Rift did talk about how it goes up to R5, and if you're doing the event, it should allow you to obviously to get those refinements to R5, which makes it extremely easy because the ability on the weapon states that when the wielder performs healing, this will restore 16 energy at R5, and this effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds and can occur when the character is not on the field. So, looking in general with this specific weapon, obviously you're going to be focusing on characters that are going to be focusing on healing but also ones that have a focus into hp percent so rift looking at characters for this weapon considering it's a great four star free to play weapon what are some characters that are kind of on your mind well the first character i immediately like to address for this weapon is yao yao um yao yao is a great four star um already and with this weapon, if you are a new player and you have Yao Yao, I think this is definitely going to be a great upgrade for her. There are other options, of course, like most people can just use Fav Lance, but if you really just want to focus on having even higher HP, which means her heals will be a little bit more, um, you can definitely do this. It's going to definitely help that. Plus, the ability, we already know, restores energy when you do heal. So even if you're not using Fav Lance, you still are getting some energy personally for Yao Yao. I don't think you're going to run into energy problems for Yao Yao specifically. The only uh, maybe possible problem people could talk about is because you're not using Fav Lance, um, you could run into some energy issues for your other characters if they are relying on the particles from Fav Lance from your supports. Um, so... I think it just depends on what team you're running. Um, like, I know some Sino Hyperbloom teams. I don't have Baiju. Normally, I'd run Baiju in that team, but I just use Yao Yao. And so, Thav Lance on Yao Yao does kind of help Sino with the energy for him because he's heavily built for damage and not so much on the energy to kind of help his, you know, personal damage and rely on the supports to funnel back energy for him. So, it kind of just, I feel like, depends on the team. But, like I'm saying, the main difference is with Thav Lance, you have energy in the main stat and with this weapon dialogues of the desert sages you have hp as a main stat so your heals will be a lot lot more uh when you run this weapon on frankly any uh healer type poem characters that we will talk about so i think it's going to be very great for yao yao um especially if they're if you're a new player and you you haven't wished on the weapon banner you might not even have fav lance yet so i think this is a good weapon to use until you get fav lance if that's still something you'd rather use so vixen what's another character that this weapon could be good for well, actually, I didn't even think about Yao Yao. I immediately jumped to a recent character that's been dropped, and that was Shivers. And looking at Shivers, she is focusing a lot more on... Obviously, she's a great overload support, so a lot of her passive talents are really what you're kind of going after, as well as, in general, just making her, you know, kind of cracked for specifically Raiden and some overload comps. And the thing to look at when you're looking at Shivers, at least, though, is just trying to find a bunch of energy needs right just trying to be a battery for other members but the thing is here is that kind of people don't realize because she does intermittent healing actually and it's based off of her hp and so this weapon can actually be really good for her now especially with you know a good base attack from the weapon better than maybe a three star or something like black tassel you know this weapon can have a little bit more base attack helps her do a little bit more damage i know rift uses her more on the damage side of things and uses a weapon called deathmatch which is a crit rate main stat which is a little bit more damage focused but for me i personally use um fav lance now that helps me get a lot more particles in general but if you don't have fav lance just like yao yao you could use this weapon but i think if anything it's probably just as good 
as Favlance just because of the high amount of HP that you get from this. You can now focus fully on a, an ER Sands with a bunch of ER substats on your other, you know, uh, substats for your artifacts. So at that point, you don't really have to worry about too much on the HP side of things, at least for one of your main stats. So this kind of helps a little bit more if you're willing to bring the HP to a higher level or the level of the weapon to a higher level. So that's really nice to have as well. And that's why I think like Chevrous would be a really, really good character for this weapon. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And the other thing I really like about using this for characters like Yao Yao and Chevrous that we just talked about is you're getting full use out of everything that the weapon has to offer. Um, I mean, the, the main stat totally helping their their health regeneration, right? And even with Chevrous, you want more HP to give more attack to other characters based on her second passive talent, right? So like, it's kind of a double whammy right there. And so it's kind of a win-win situation. Those are probably the two best characters that, you know, we would say to use this for there are like four others though that did come to my mind that i did kind of just want to briefly touch on and um that's actually the first one I'll, I'll mention is mika because i think he's he's the third place for this weapon right after yao yao and chevres um and obviously we know he is a healer who scales on max hp for his healing through his burst so obviously if you're building mika you're going to go a lot of hp on him um, he can be used even outside of physical teams. I know that's what most people use him for. Me personally, I actually do like to use him just for the attack speed bonus for some just just fun teams. Like nothing abyss worthy, right? Just like overworld stuff. I, I do some fun Ayato meme teams using Mika and like Chang Yun to just go full attack speed Ayato because it's really fun to see Ayato just go lightning speed because he already kind of hits fast. But like when you're building him, obviously you want to go HP. So like this weapon is going to be very, very good for him for that main stat right and then also when you do heal which is what he does you're getting that energy back and mika is a high energy cost he is he's a 70 cost on the burst so having that extra energy from this weapon is definitely helpful for him once again though we do run into that same scenario where fav lance is usually another option that people are already just using but let's say you don't have three copies of fav lance and at r5 at that which is 15 copies right so like this is just one placeholder that's an easy r5 because of you know it's an event weapon that i think it you know can be used to allow you to use your maybe and save some of your other fab lances for other characters because there's there's even more characters there's a lot of characters that can use fab lance right even non-healers like yunjin etc right so uh i think it can be used very very well on mika vixen what's another character that could possibly use this weapon the next character that came to our minds actually was looking at zhongli now when rift actually had brought this to my attention i totally didn't even think about zhongli because most of the times there's two weapons that you really ever go with him and for some odd reason even his personal five star weapon isn't one of those but it's either staff of homa which is hu tao's five star personal weapon or you're looking at black tassel which is a three star weapon very easy to get um just getting it straight through gacha as well it's just a very good weapon considering it actually at level 80 and 90 or any of the ascension stats it has a higher hp percentage that it gives now it does have a lower base attack so you will lose a little bit on damage but if you're going just straight shield bot zhongli then this is a really good opportunity to use something like black tassel right but if you're like well i use my black tassel on someone else or maybe you're just like honestly gotcha luck isn't with me i've never gotten a black tassel before so maybe you're like, okay, well, or maybe you're new to the game, and this is once again a free-to-play weapon, then you can now just be like, okay, I'll just use this weapon. It's free-to-play, obviously, and then you can get a high refinement on it. The only thing is, is that the refinements kind of do nothing for you, considering Zhongli doesn't use the passive at all. Now, he could use it if he had his C6, but if you have a C6, most likely you're using a Staff of Homa at this point. But if you're just C0, you have a Zhongli, you have no other HP pole arms, and you're like, look, I need an HP pole arm, this will do the trick for you. Yes, it doesn't have as much as Black Tassel, but it does have the HP percent there for you to use. Yeah, I totally agree on that. And, and like you already mentioned, the fact that it is a four star does automatically mean it has higher base attack than Black Tassel. So if, if by chance you are doing hybrid Zhongli, where you're kind of, you want the HP for the shield, but you also want to see a little bit of good damage in his burst, this will uh, actually be better than Black Tassel for that specific build. But shield bot, yes, Black Tassel is better. All right, well, that's everything we have to cover in this video. Just kind of wanted to do a short overview of the free weapon, since we do know there could be a lot of new players that can get a lot of use out of this and kind of just educate on like what characters can use this if you have those characters. So with that being said, that's all we have and we'll see you in the next one.